What is up, everybody? Phantom Darkness 135 here with you. So, we're getting to the point where I gotta move in soon, actually, like four days from now. And videos are gonna slow down for a while, as they always do when I go off to school. So, I'm gonna try to uh, make this video and maybe one other one. And then I will have to see you guys come Christmas time. I can't thank you enough for the great season we've had this summer. We've had an amazing amount of people subscribe and um, show participation, awesome messages, awesome comments, um, just great all around. So thank you guys so much for helping this channel along. And today we have a special uh, game going on here. This one was recommended by a friend here at home and he said that it would just match up with our channel perfectly. So we'll see if he's right and how well he knows our channel. It's the McCarthy Chronicles Episode 1. I had some troubles getting it started, but I think I finally got the settings right and uh, got Fraps to recognize it. So uh, I haven't played it yet. I'm just going to do this uh, as a playthrough. And uh, it looks pretty good, I guess. I mean, it's just one of those... Uh... Oh, there we go. I'm having a little like technical difficulties with it, but let's, let's try it out. I have no idea how long it is or what to expect. I know that it looks scary and uh, intriguing as I hung by my neck gently swinging side to side in the darkened room and I was I right couldn't help but feel that my life had been something of a farce up to this point an endless parade of nonsensical events marching past me taunting me to just give a damn why did he bleed so much if he hung himself when strung up by a man you shot between the eyes with a 38 revolver not five minutes earlier you begin to wonder if there really is any reality to accompany the poetry okay as my vision began to fade and euphoria washed over my body from lack of oxygen to my brain, all I could think about was how I got here. This is and definitely not, not what I would be thinking about if I was hanging. I don't know what I'd be thinking about, but probably not all that. When you start your day still in your clothes, beautiful from British before, poetry, a blend of nightmares and the phone ringing on your desk. Things are never immediately clear. The line between the dream and the cold light of day is blurred somewhat by the incessance of the telephone. Okay. Coffee. I had no case in weeks. The headlines after my previous job sorted out. Where are you? The young woman on the end of the line sounded breathy and seductive. I'm okay. just a little terrified. I'll be 20 minutes. Our character is very strange, you lost to meet me in a but charming at the same town. time. I knew the place. Been abandoned for quite a while. The gang activity in the area was maybe... He also appears to be a speeder. <laughs> I guess even God can be convinced with a kind word and a bloodstained baseball bat. Crap, I missed whatever was before that line because I was being I stupid in talking. I arrived a of comic book hero. I'm not with the talent. Wow. Christ. No. She was dead when I got there. A crimson fluid snaked around the altar to which she was tied, glimmering in the moonlight. Still warm. No wonder she was terrified. Shit. Wow, his mouth moved a lot for saying shit. Was still warm corpse. Oh, by the way, get out of there. this is not a family family game, in case you didn't notice, so. You're 13 or under. No one's gonna do anything. You're gonna grow up today, young boy or girl. Tattered matchbook. So how do I pick stuff up? Ah, here we go. An old matchbook. How beautifully cliche. Is it? That's from the Grosvenor Hotel. Sounds like a good next stop. I kind of like the uh, animation. Oh, I see. Look at and talk to dead girl. Okay, why not? She's recently become the silent type. Okay, I enjoy the wit. Very nice. She looks young. 17, maybe. Ugh. It smells like gasoline. I hope they weren't planning what I think they were. Will you move out of the blood, man? A coward in a vacuum coat. <laughs> Talk to self. Can we do it? No. Alright. Um. I don't know. I guess that's... Oh wait, what's this? Scratches. Okay, I Someone gotta get used to this. Something into here. Valui ad Satanum in Vacandum. 
I succeeded in summoning Satan. Thank you. I was just going to ask. I have no idea what that means. So let's see. Is there anything else? Uh, what was that? It doesn't look like it's supporting her in any way. Maybe they used it just to get her up there. Hmm. Well, I kind of like this so far. It's uh, really interesting. Let's see. I haven't seen anything like this before. Let's hope I don't ever again. Okay, I guess that's... Okay, we'll look at the bloody wall, and then I want to go to the hotel. Wherever he said. Okay, I need it's a drink. It's still wet. The moonlight sparkled on the recently spilled blood like tiny crimson dancers. Seems like a good way out. Can't reach it, though. Okay, so what can we do here? Can we take this rope? It doesn't answer me. <laughs> Talk to it. Can we... Pick it up, do something. How do we get out of here is what I'm trying to get at, sir. McCarthy. It doesn't look like... <sighs> okay, we'll do this the hard way. Oh, here we go. Use. I missed the third one there. That is stickier than you might think. Wonderful. Thanks for sharing. Can't reach it. Okay, let's see here. I think you get to your inventory. Yeah, you just scroll up to get to your inventory. I need to take a look at this hotel. Yes, we do. That's what we're trying to do here, McCarthy. Get with it. The Grosvenor Hotel hadn't been accepting guests for years. I like this it game a lot so far. Just I know we've only seen one screen, but... It used but... to be a manor house before it was a hotel. I guess the uptake of a big house like that isn't cheap. Sorry, I should shut up when he's talking. But I know we've only seen one screen, but I really I like it so far. Driveway to be greeted by nothing more than a sense of foreboding, smell of damp. Nice car graphics. Talk to the car. It doesn't answer me. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I guess we'll go road. It's too far to walk anywhere from here. Okay, I guess we won't. Um. Oh, there he is, right there. Okay. Touch myself. Ooh, okay, let's uh, let's move along to the car. I let's use the car. On Come on, McCarthy. Things. I need to concentrate on other things too. After you said that. Okay, where we? Oh, here we go. Nice, nice. Never know when you might need some worthless stone chippings. You're so weird. Is he? Is he not wearing a shirt under that trench coat? Cause that's kind of weird. A disheveled gravel driveway. Okay. My car. It's not much, but it works. What do you want me to do here, McCarthy? What What do you see happening here? Okay, there we go. Gosh, apparently you have to left click to get everywhere. All right, jeez, that took a long time. <laughs> Okay, let's let's see if there's anything useful. A miscellaneous, a miscellaneous bush. Can Truth we... be told, then. Okay, I don't know what that stuff is, but let's check out the doorbell. Okay. Locked, and I don't think I'll. Oh, creeping ivy. That looks useful. I guess we're just breaking it's into this hotel. Um, oh, we got some stones. That does How about we use those on a window? That does there that we doesn't seem Really? Okay. Um, maybe we can go over here now that I know how to move from place to place. Nice job. Did you guys see the reflection, by the way? Very well done. See that? Use them. Locked. Of course. Okay, there's a lit window. That's got to be where Let's we use try. I'll say. Yes, this was a good decision. I can tell already. Even in the dank midnight air, her voice carried on the wind like butterflies. Good evening. Uh, I'd like to speak to the head of the house. Thank you, miss. 
I hope this is a main my door. Heart pounded as her voice ricocheted around inside my head. I guess not. All right, we'll try the front. I like how she didn't even ask who he was. Just all right, come on in. Eerie and empty sounding. The young girl looked at me expectantly. Will you be staying with us this evening, sir? I couldn't imagine sleeping in this godforsaken place. But I couldn't imagine leaving this girl behind. Oh boy. I'm not sure yet, miss. Mr. Grosner is in the drawing room. Whenever you're ready, Mr. McCarthy. A glimmer of recognition flashed across her ivory face, but she didn't say anything. Well, my name's Sarah. Sarah Mackenzie. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. McCarthy. I will take you with me, Sarah Mackenzie. Wherever I go, I will take you with Okay, this just took a turn for the... Creepy. <laughs> I don't know. That's Sarah. <laughs> I don't like... Girl in her mid she looks decidedly uncomfortable. And... Yeah, I'd, I'd be nervous around you too, you weirdo. It looks too expensive. Besides, what do you expect? An underground laboratory? Hmm, maybe that's a reference I don't get. Let's talk to Sarah. Mr. Grozer is just through the door to the left, Mr. McCarthy. Well, you won't be able to stop me from using this one. I should introduce Fine. Alright, is it this one? The drawing room was cold and desolate. That guy's the creepy looking. In the hearth. A skinny, gaunt man, no older than mid twenties, stood in vain trying to warm himself by the fire. Probably because he needs to I move a little closer. closer. I should introduce myself. With a hit Broadway song? I can't play. Darn. I wish I could. Me too. The embers pulsed like the... All right, let's talk to Michael. <coughs> Good evening. Is there something I can help you with? You have such a My young name's voice, sir. I'm a private investigator working Congrats. for a potential client. Do you have a moment for a few questions? My client was dead, but solving this one could be very good for business. McCarthy. Yes, I think I saw something about you in the newspaper. Although I neglected to read the article, I'm afraid. What would you like to know? Where did you get that terrible accent, and how's business? How's business? Well, business trots on, as business does. There are still a few guests, only Sarah and Victoria. I skipped that, by the way, that was not a glitch, I'm just reading it. Um, Anything unusual happen in the- Hmm. Hmm. No, I don't think so. You don't think in so? In fact, Things have been rather quiet of late. The other guests, me. Sarah? Yes, she's actually a new addition to the household. Been here just a backpacker, as I understand it. I offered a free room and board, plus a small wage, in exchange for our services as a maid and a cook. Interesting. Victoria? Quite a feisty young woman. Very inquisitive. She seems very interested. She can usually be found in the bar. That's all I Don't mention it. Well, you be staying with her. The weather is... Thank you, but uh, no, I think I've learned everything I can. It really? seemed very possible that the matchbook was a red herring. I thought it would be wise to come back in the morning with a fresh head and a new set of questions. What a terrible detective. Can we at least explore and go talk to this Victoria girl? Or look at the books? An assortment of books. Okay, that's the door we, th we saw on the back. Um, come on, I want to explore. Use it. I should go back. Fine. Can we talk to her anymore? Good night, Miss Nima. Fine. No fun in this household. No fun. No smiles. No getting to know the girls. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. My car's tires have been slashed. Oh. It seems someone is intent on me staying. 
Perhaps the matchbook was not a red herring after all. So someone was waiting out in this rain to sla for a person they didn't know was coming to slash the tires. Or maybe it's this chick inside. Good night, Miss. Good night. I'm just gonna go wander your grounds. Really wander. That sounds dirty. I can't really wander around there. We go upstairs. Oh, so this is not wandering. I can't really. Fine. Oh my gosh. What do you want, McCarthy? Let's talk to the dude again. I need a sprint or a some kind of speed up for that walk. Apparently, I will be staying this. Oh? It seems someone has slashed my tires. How awful! <sighs> this is not the first time this has happened, though. Really? I suspect wolves. Really? You the suspect wolves, wolves of slashing the tires? Tire struck me as suspicious. Wolves? Indeed. There has been the odd sighting on the estate. I see. Well, at any rate, please accept lodgings for the night. Or indeed, as long as that's very kind. Please speak to Sarah. Also, feel free to wander the house. You mentioned wolves. Indeed, so yes. A woman not long ago had her tires mauled by what could only be considered. Does anyone actually? Hmm. Victoria, I believe, mentioned seeing one from her window. Perhaps you should speak. Perhaps you should solve that problem. Thanks. Okay, let's see. All right, we get to talk to Sarah. Did you forget something, Miss M It seems someone or something is, so I will be staying. Oh, how terrible. And he's so laid back Luckily, one about of everything. Is available. Here's the key. It's up the stairs and the last door on the right. Maybe you try moving your head a little less there, Sarah. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. McCarthy? Be careful. What is that supposed to mean? I hear things at night. In the walls. What kinds of things? Scratching. Well, I always have my revolver, miss. I'm sure I'll be okay. I've had it for six years. I fired it once. Thank you for your help. Okay, can we wander around now? Yes. So, here's a sink. This looks like... Can we use these? I take the... Nice. It's sharp, and the harsh contrast of the reflection hurts my eyes. I don't like what I see. From what light in here? Could use the Some egg. Okay, why not? Nothing can wash away the What the heck has this guy been through? I don't need a song. And I like how he's just he was afraid of wanting the house, but he's not so uh, not really the carpenter type. uptight that he won't steal everything from the olive oil and the Knife. It's built into the concrete. Is there anything we can use to move that? That doesn't. Okay, let's go up to our room, I guess, and explore. Use the door. Come on. I hope this, uh,. Turns into something cool because I really like this game so far. It's locked. Very mysterious. Just a little creepy. And really fun to play. It's locked. Okay, which one is ours? Ah. My room was a simple affair, and yet I couldn't help but feel that death ran down the walls like ever encroaching flood water. All right. Empty. Looks like someone took all the. It's a shame. An immaculate bed. Can we use it? I'd really like to hear what Victoria saw of these wolves. Would you before it's you a go to sleep? Nice oil painting. Almost certain. I guess we can't look in those. Can we look out the window? It overlooks the garden. Okay. All right. Let's go talk to Victoria. And by the way, I'll, I'll put a link to it. This is a downloadable game. Oh, where is Victoria? And, um... Yeah, so you have to download it play it, obviously.
but it's a very small file and it only takes it, it, the setup is a little weird but um you just kind of have to play with what works and what doesn't oh this is i don't think we've been out here yet the bar was a simple affair an acrid smell everything's a simple smoke. affair spilt champagne from years long since past hung over my head like a cloud a young woman stood at the bar drinking hand she which hand because both of them are down its prey. this was victoria oh there we go why is it so dark in here while it would be interesting to see him. oh oops <laughs> i meant to do the well, talk i swear anyway, fresh blood is always well i like how our text is pink victoria i presume victoria renton rick mccarthy ah we have someone famous among us An infamous perhaps well i always preferred infamy better the devil you know do you mind if I ask you some questions? Please do. So, is this a uh, house of ladies of the night? What are you doing or? here? I'm just passing through, really. Mr. Grosvenor said you were a permanent resident. Permanent is a little strong. I lingered here because I like the scenery. And this house... This house? Yes. It seems there is quite though I Explain. haven't really involved myself. I'm just Fast. here for the ever enriching sense of ennui, I suppose. And the vo Mr. Grovesner mentioned that you may have seen wolves on the estate. If that's what he wishes to call them. You disagree. Well it was dark. But the Her eyes moved ever Frightening. Frightening. What's your opinion of she seems nice enough. We haven't spoken a great deal though. I get the impression she's intimidated by me. Well, that's because she you're stuck up. Grin. Shy girls are always Woman. more fun. Wouldn't you agree? What's your opinion of... I think he's terribly afraid of something. He seems to be terribly on edge most of the time. Especially if there are a lot of guests in the house. Maybe he's a werewolf. Any idea why that might be? Of course, he would have to change when we... Never mind. ...with regards to his personal life. He spends the majority of his time by the fire, lamenting the slow loss of his family. Who? Oh. His family? The Grosner family. Is the vast majority of them died before the age of 35. Some died before adulthood. Michael is the last alive, and the youngest of his generation. Really? Because you look like you're 65. His niece, and I don't think he's ever recovered from that. All right. That's all I Anytime. Can I perhaps interest you in a nightcap? Back up. She looked me straight in the eye. Thank you for the offer, miss, but I think I'll decline. Carpe noctum, Mr. McCarthy. Sees the knife. For we may not see. Her words chilled me. Another night, perhaps. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find. Okay. Well, at least he's got some restraint. Can I need to. St okay. All right, so maybe um, go to bed. Always seems to be the right answer. Oops. All the way down to our room. I think it was the last one here, right? Yep. Can we go to bed now? I'll try and get some sleep. I found it difficult to sleep. My mind swam with questions. Who slashed my tires, and why do they want to keep me here? As I began to drift off to sleep, I was jerked back to reality by the sound of screaming. I jumped to my feet and grabbed my revolver. 